Hello everyone, this is Gabriel. Today is September 13, 2015, and I'm showing you my Catlia Mama Evangeline. I can't remember the uh, um, the parentage of it. Uh, probably it's on the name tag, but it's buried in the growing media, and I don't want to take it out. So, um, like you can see, I had to cut a lot of the uh, old uh, back bulbs or uh, growths because it was attacked by uh, some kind of disease. So, um, in order to avoid uh, the spreading of that thing, I had to cut all of them. So. Um, this other one that it's uh, right before the one that is in bloom has this scar and I hope it's not going to develop into something else and affect the rest of the plant or what is left so uh, I still have three growths um, two back bulbs and the one that is in bloom uh, right after I cut all the uh, pseudo bulbs it started spiking so yeah, it seems like that helped it, uh, and I'm glad because it's really, really pretty. Um, the video kind of makes it look uh, more pale than it is, but uh, it's really pretty and it has a very light fragrance. I can't uh, sense it right now, but I remember that um, years ago I noticed that. Um, okay, well, that's Mama Evangeline Catlia. And this other one is something that I bought recently. It's also Phalaenopsis, and uh, it caught my attention the uh, pattern on the petals and also the lip because it's like that, like you can see it. And um, it's kind of popular lately, at least that's what I've been told. And kind of, <clears throat> I kind of liked it, that's why I bought it. And you know what? I forgot to get the name tag from the pot, so you excuse me. Gosh, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can do something else. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Gosh, I didn't think about doing this before I started doing the video. Sorry about that. Well, it's very tight. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Anyway, so I guess I'm gonna need to grab the whole plant and turn it around. Let's see. Okay. Whoops. Uh, Falling up says you pin fireworks plus ZTPS. Huh. You pin. <laughs> Sorry. That's difficult. Anyway, let me try something else. Alright. You pin also cat? Okay, you can see it on on the screen, so that's the name. And it's growing most of them now uh, the ones that I bought are growing in moss, but seems like the roots are doing fine, so I'm um, as soon as it's uh, finishing blooming, I will be repotting it maybe before because I, on my experience, sometimes when I wait until they finish blooming, um, the roots are already rotten. So um, maybe not watering too much. You know that when you're growing orchids and moss, you have to be really careful because the moss keeps the... Um, moisture for too long and uh, depending how big the pot is I remember one of my uh, Phalaenopsis that was growing in moss I was watering only once a month because that lawn was uh, really wet and it also depends how much humidity you have in your house and um, if you have a fan on and you know all that thing that makes the house uh, getting dry or maybe the air conditioner uh, Anyway, so you have to be careful when you're growing in moss and I really uh, recommend to grow your plants, your orchids on bark, that's the best. And, <clears throat> sorry, I also want to show you this other little tiny one that I bought also. This one I bought it yesterday and also this one. Okay, this one 
it's a uh, name tag okay this is the name uh, this is the pink girl uh, the GPS ye holds yeah, whatever how you pronounce that and it's a uh, specific um, plant in uh, hybrid comes from Phalaenopsis chileriana I think that's how you pronounce it and that's why you have this kind of um, mottled or you know this marking on, on the leaves I saw this plant long time ago and I liked it but I thought maybe those spots are not nothing good maybe the plant is sick but then I was reading about it and and it's uh, it's normal so because of the uh, parentage and also I was attracted to this little thing because um, the flowers are not very showy but uh, they're actually fragrant but uh, not all of them are fragrant and I mean uh, these hybrids sometimes the plant the, the flowers are fragrant and sometimes they are not and if they are fragrant uh, the uh, fragrance is very light very faint so in but that's actually what it um, made me think uh, that I wanted to buy this plant uh, the first time I saw it and every time I saw this plant that I was just walking by uh, I sensed the smell I'm, my um, uh, my nose is very sensitive to fragrance fragrances and I actually could smell it so that's why I bought it but like I said it's, uh, the fragrance is really faint but it's 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 nice okay and um, it had two blooming spikes but seems like one got butt blast actually broke um, anyway so the other one that I also bought yesterday is this one I had to replace the name tag because uh, it was broken but this is the name Phalaenopsis Tida Kings Caroline Tida Little Zebra okay um, Danny from um, uh, better known as Orchid Girl had this on one of her videos and ever since I saw it I I wanted this orchid and I finally got it it's really pretty has lots of blooms and but we all know that actually when you buy a plant it has this display of blooms normally you don't get this when you grow your plant but that's because uh, the way they treat the plants I don't know they use lots of fertilizing lots of um, a lot of um, temperature uh, changing thing you know to in order to make your plants bloom uh, especially phalaenopsis you have to get them a, a little bit of cold in the winter so um, so they can start spiking but um, the difference of temperature is what um, triggers the spiking and I I did that I have been doing it every year in it's always working. I understand this specific hybrid uh, doesn't like doesn't like it too cold like um, the other ones but um, it's just um, trial and error I guess. Anyway very pretty hybrid and the other one I want to show you now it's actually a um, species plant. Uh, it's, this was a gift from one of the uh, vendors at the uh, or, uh, Orchid Society. It's Mother Day's um, show and sale. This one it's called Gamesa radicans. Here's the name tag. That's the name. Like I said, it's a uh, species plant, and uh, as you can see, it looks like it's related to uh, Oncidiums, but it's actually its own species. So it's not an Oncidium and the flower spikes it has two flower spikes I was actually going to give it away but um, I decided to give it a try and recently I found that it has two blooming spikes you can see one right there and the other ones okay here that's the other one and the flowers are going to be teeny tiny as you can see my finger next to the blooming spike um, probably a quarter inch size of blooms I understand they are very fragrant 
and this person that gave it to me well she gave it to me because I helped her um, on her um, booth selling her plants while she was busy doing some other things at the show and that's how she paid me for helping out so I uh, really appreciate it uh, she said that this plant actually grows like weed like weeds <laughs> and I don't know <clears throat> it has probably two or three new pseudo uh, not pseudo bulbs, um, new growths but they're kinda looking not very good not very well and I assume that's because I'm not watering enough and it's growing in osmunda fiber uh, This it's a pot made of osmunda fiber osmunda fiber I mean fiber <laughs> It's uh, made of um, the roots of ferns, and I don't know if it's specifically of the Osmunda fern, but that's what it is. And it's very um, airy, so it gets dry really fast. Every time I water, I, uh, I actually added this moss, because uh, it keeps the humidity a little bit longer. But I water it um, two days ago, and it's already dry. So I'm going to need to water again uh, today. And um, that's what I got for today. These are my two new phalaenopsis. I actually have more, but I'll show them to you later. I have other plants that are in spike or just barely starting to spike. One other cattleya and um, also um, a path, pathipedalum, um, no, two of them the Venus type um, path and the other one it's um, Spiceranium Spiceranium or oh, whatever <laughs> that one but I'll show it to you when their spikes are bigger or maybe when they are already in, in bloom alright well um, that's it and thanks for watching